it with the dark red dozen, and it is Sunday. I already have Bodie and Charlie and I are about to get bitter in the crock pot, and Patrick's in the drum machine. Making this recipe from Spend with Pennies. It is crock pot, spinach, tortellini. We got one pork, diced tomatoes. I am quadrupling this recipe. Frozen spinach. I'm not. I don't need all of this tortellini. I need this, and I need about this much of that. Onions, Italian seasoning, tomato paste, and cream cheese.
up, up, up. them cut up a little bit more so yeah on uh, the weekends sometimes Saturdays and sometimes Sundays we have a music teacher who comes here and gives all of the kids music lessons it's amazing you can do drum piano and voice lessons and just kind of overall like rhythm and music Instilling a love of music. That is taking a while to brown, so let's get everything else put in the crock pot. I think I've never made this recipe before. Brown sausage and onion, place in six quart slow cooker. I'll place all the ingredients in a six quart, okay, I'm using a 22 quart slow cooker. Slow cooker. Um, so yeah, we're gonna put the rest of the ingredients in the crock pot and once that browns, we'll put that on and then at the end, we top it with Parmesan and cheese. I don't know, I just felt like something different. I feel like I've been making the same recipes over and over again. So we'll see. I don't know if they'll like this or not. Um, it's There's not that much spinach in it, honestly. There's only, in the original recipe, there's only three ounces of frozen spinach. So I'm putting one container, one package. You know what I meant. I need some Try saying that a different way. Yes, you can. What, honey? Well, she said, I need some chocolate milk. The polite way is to say, can I have some chocolate milk, please? Honey, I got that stove on. You want pasta. Yeah, I like popcorn. That's not popcorn, that's actually a type of pasta called tortellini. Let me show you. Tortellini? Tortellini. I think that's popcorn. What does tortellini like pasta? It, it's a little pasta that's shaped like that. <laughs> Did you want popcorn? This is tortellini. Do you want some popcorn? It's in the garage pantry.
more. Now everyone's gonna want popcorn because when someone has popcorn, then they all want popcorn. Anyways, I always make a big pasta dish on Sundays. I attempt to make enough so there will be leftovers to pack in their lunches on Mondays. That rarely happens. We usually eat it all. But then when I make like way too much, then it's way too much. I just, I can't find that middle. Anyway, plus I'm not positive they're gonna love this recipe because it is new.
strain it if you want to. Um, it really wasn't that greasy, so I did not bother. utensil thingy like one of those to hold your spoons and stuff and I want one for just my spatulas so I feel like that's my most used kitchen item and they're all right now in different places all right I'm doing two things of tomato paste I will link this recipe in the description of this video if I I'm not sure how well this is going to all mix up right away. I might have to come back to it in like 20 minutes to get it mixed once the cream cheese melts in. Kids are playing outside. Well, most of them. It is a beautiful day. Josh is doing some yard work, filling the bird feeders. I folded the laundry. Yeah, he's making dinner. Bree's been organizing her new nursery for her dolls. Yeah. I'll just grab a little bit so you catch her making this for me. I'll have to eat it. Oh. Can you go back outside? Yeah. Okay. Patrick has been making weapons out of sticks to, he's created this whole zombie apocalypse game. Uh, and so he's making a weapon for everyone in our family. Like very, very creative weapons. <coughs> I'll have to show you after I get this in the crack pot. taste it in a little bit and see if it needs any like salt, pepper, paprika, anything. We'll, we'll give it a taste in a little bit and see. Hey mom, so, uh, Tonight, it's a beautiful day so we're going to play outside all day. So neat. Alright, what did I say? Four teaspoons. Which is tablespoon and a teaspoon. Right. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to stir this up until this cream cheese kind of melts down a little bit. We will come back to this in a moment. And I'll show you what the kids are doing. I wanted to get that started because Jason has a birthday party to go to tonight. That and then we'll eat dinner. It'll be a later dinner tonight because of the birthday party. It's yours. That's mine. Yeah, you're the green reaper. <laughs> nice. Well, look at the brands. Oh. Dad's around here somewhere. Dad, that's dad, mom. Look at dad. This is dad. Show them the bow and arrow you made. Both of them? Yeah. 
This one's mine and that one's Patrick's. He looks a better one. Mine? My sister's. Yeah. I'm still making it tighter. Yeah. I also found arrows. Just string. That's it. That's a carrier. So oh, clever. Bro, I want to put it in my back or my pants. I like that. And mom, these are our um, children. These are oh. These are and then this is, Harley hasn't made bow and arrow too, but he hasn't made it yet. Oh, these okay. are Ethan's. Sweet. I know, I'm trying to find my Okay, this is this, Mom, Harley's look at Alex's. Mom, look at Alex's. That's pretty sweet. Mom, this this is Harley's mini one. Also, doesn't Keith, they get close. Patrick, can I get this one for Harley? Go find, go find a small stick. I'll make it. Go find like a small like, curve. So these are all the weapons I have made for everyone. Oh, you found this on yours. Oh, I showed it to him. Here. These are all the weapons. This mine. This is from my crafting area. This is the crafting area. Well, cause look, it looks like a, it looks like a crafting spot. It does. With different spots where you can put them. Hey, you are very creative. Yes, I am. Well, I had dash. Oh, these are dashes. That's what we did when we were playing earlier. Oh. Like little knives. Like, ah. like where they can cut their bounties head off. Or, but we, but our family today, we might, our, our family might do, uh, do Legends and Dragons every life. Yes. But, yes. Okay, I'm gonna go back in. I just wanted to show them your awesome weapons. Right, let's see. See if I can get this stirred up now. Yeah. There we go. What? Why did I just do that? I don't know. because some of the cream cheese is still in bricks, blocks, blocks. Okay, let's see. It's been cooking for about two hours. Let's check on it. Absorbs up that liquid. We'll let it cook. It's got about another hour, I think. Okay. All right. Half an hour's gone by. I'm gonna check it because I don't think these kids are gonna want a late dinner because they played outside all day and they are hungry. So I turned the heat up was hoping it would finish cooking and it looks like it did so now we're just gonna add the parm and then we've got the garlic bread in the oven and it also cooked up just some plain tortellini for if anyone doesn't want it in the sauce with the spinach because you know kids and I also cooked up just some plain spinach too Texas toast.
Okay, dinner is done, and I am not talk about kids being hungry. I'm hungry. Okay, we've got the tortellini. I've got some plain spinach, some plain tortellini, and garlic bread. No, that's that's Paul's. That's Paul's. I'll choose this right there. Okay, I gotta take Jason to a birthday party, but I just wanted to try this really quick, um, and then the kids are gonna eat in a minute with Josh. That is really good. Really good. Oh my gosh. That sauce with the cream cheese and the diced tomatoes. Amazing. Anyways, I'm going to take this on the road. But thank you for spending time with me. Yes, honey? Do we even keep our shoes on the altitude or do we put No. Them with you will get socks and you'll put shoes near the party table. Yeah, okay. So can I yeah, you can wear your socks. Yeah. It'll be right there. All right. I got to go. You are strong, you are beautiful, you are loved, you belong, and I am so proud of you. I'll see you next time.